So today Apple released iOS 12.1.2, and it's got some very interesting things that we're going to look at. So I'm running it on my phone right now, and it includes some bug fixes, specifically for eSIM, and it also provides some carriers for eSIM, and a cellular connectivity bug in Turkey was fixed. Now this is only for the iPhone and probably the iPod, but not the iPad, not the iPad, it's not on the iPad. And it probably also addresses an issue with China. So iPhones in China, certain ones before the iPhone X were banned because of an issue with copyright infringement with Qualcomm. It has to do with patents and things like that with interacting with the touchscreen display and photo editing. So kind of vague, some interesting things there that they were trying to fix. And this iOS update probably changes this to comply with the Chinese government, but probably only in China. So, should you update to this update? I'm going to say maybe not right now, because I had some issues when trying to download it. And you don't, you wouldn't want to cause problems with your SIM or anything that this changes. So I would say wait a day or two to see if any bugs pop up or are found. And if you don't see anything happening, then you should update to it. And turn off automatic updates so that you don't have a problem with that updating for you. So what else? Um, I was 12.1.3, 12.2. I don't think there'll be a 12.1.3 unless there's another big bug. I think we'll see 12.2 in 2019 coming up in January or February after some beta testing, maybe even March. So something else, though, is there is the keyboard glitch still works, which I have a separate video on. And so Apple still has not gotten around to fixing that. I don't think they know about it. But yeah, that's pretty interesting how there are some different things going on here. And so should you update? Not yet. This fixes some simple glitches and bugs. I'm Ask Howard. Thanks for watching. Bye.